Andrew from Andrew and Films here, and uh, today's tutorial will be going over a new feature in Cinema 4D R13, which is a really cool feature, and I really love it. It's uh, it has to do with character rigging, and if you go up to the character tab right here, uh, you'll see a button called character. Uh, so that is what we're going to be going over, and it's really cool, really easy. You know, you can get uh, rigging done quickly, and I, I love it. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I have a uh, I have an object here of a guy Versetti, uh, and this is the object I'm going to be using to rig. I'm going to show you how to get this object. By the way, if you go to I'm going to go to Chrome. Uh, if you go to thefree3dmodels.com and uh, you type in Versetti, then you will find him right here. If you go to this page and you scroll down a little bit, there you go. You can download it. So put him in your scene and let's get started. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. First of all, go up to character and uh, click this thing right here. Then click it again and drag it over to the side right here. You can put it wherever you want to. Uh, I like it over here. Um, but we're doing this because uh, it, it makes it easier just to go right over to our character rigging um, options here without having to go into the menu every single time. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and hit character. And that's going to make uh, an arrow under our our object. Uh, now, if you if you go to the character on the side here, you'll notice there is a root button. Go ahead and click that, and then click uh, the button again. Now it's going to say spine. Click that. Um, now that should that, that that's lined up pretty well. If um, if it's not lined up, that's okay. Uh, we're going to fix that later. So uh, let's go ahead and click arm. And then uh, it's going to make an arm there. Again, we're going to adjust it in a minute. Go back to spine. Click arm again. And make another arm. Uh, go back to spine. Click leg. It's going to make a leg. Go back to spine, click leg again, make another leg. Okay. So. Okay, so. Now, as you can see, we have um, mo we have pretty much all of uh, the bones that we need for this model. All right, so now what we need to do is go over to the character thing again uh, and go to adjust. Now, this is where the fun part comes in. We're basically going to move all of these dots into place where they need to be. Now, if you put your mouse and uh, hover it over one of these dots. It's going to tell you what you know what it is. Like for example, if I put it over this, it's going to tell me that that is the wrist right there. Uh, this is the shoulder. This is the, you know so on so on. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the uh, um, the spine here. So I'm going to go to all four of my views. Let's see here. Okay, so if we put our mouse over uh, one of those dots on the spine, this is the chest. Obviously, that's not right. That's not the chest. So we're going to move this up to the chest. Now, uh, this point says the neck. Uh, we're going to move that down to the bottom of the neck. Now, that's the head. That's fine. Uh, now, this is the head tip, I think. I'm going to move that down to the top of his head. Now, this is the jaw. I'm not really too worried about this. I don't really know. I'm not really going to be messing with the jaw, so I'm just going to put this somewhere. Uh, okay, whatever. Maybe that'll work. Uh, now, let's see. Okay, that's the head. Put it down a little bit 
maybe out. I'll move the neck up a little bit to the center. I have to move this back. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I am going to go down, and this uh, this says this is this is the hips. So I'm going to move that up. Probably about right here. This is the pelvis. Now that's in place. That's fine. Maybe move it up just a little bit. Okay, so the spine is looking good. Okay, now for the arms. This is the collarbone. Oh, that, that looks fine. Uh, the shoulder. We're going to move this up right here, maybe. Maybe even move the collar down just a bit. Uh, and now I'm going to take this is the elbow. Move that up there. This is the wrist. Move that right there. And this is the. Uh, hand, so I'm just going to move this right there. Okay, now if you look at the top view, these aren't aligned, so we're just going to have to move those where they aligned. And, whoops. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Now this is the shoulder, I believe. Okay. We need to move that back, the collar back. That should be good. All right. If you look at your perspective view, you can see that they're lined up pretty well. Okay, now for the legs, last part here. If you hover over that, it's going to say the hip. So just move that up. Uh, it's like straight across from the pelvis right there. There you go. Uh, these are the knees. So if you move, if you just click one of these points and you move it, the other one's a, basically a mirror uh, of it. So it's going to move the same place. Uh, okay, there you go. And then the foot, you click the ankle, move that down here. Now if you go to the right view, you might have to adjust some stuff. Yep. Let's go ahead and adjust the knee right there. Let's, uh, this looks all right. Let me put that right there. Let's move this back. There you go. So if you look, perspective view, everything should be lined up quite nicely. So, all right. What now? Okay, so now what we want to do is uh, click our character over here. Well, not our character, but the character uh, feature here and go to binding and this is where we're going to tell the character what we want to animate um so we're going to drag null or our object uh, for seti whatever uh and we're going to put them in the objects uh little box here and so that's going to tell it you know that's what we want to rig okay so if we go to animate now and we here and we click say this little controller on the arm when moved around you're going to notice that it moves the arm around but there's a little problem it looks like there's like a, a tumor growing under his arm and we don't want that so I'm going to control Z that and I'm going to show you how to fix that it has to do with weight and uh, I'm not an expert at weight um, in Cinema 4D so uh, I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, if you click the left arm here, uh, and then you click the weight tool, it's going to show you everything that has weight on it. When, uh, in this effector, it's going to show you everything that it's affecting. And we don't really want anything below the arm. That's what that's our problem right there. So what we're going to do is erase that weight. All right. So uh, I think by default. The strength is set to like 20 something. Go ahead and put that on 100. And the modes add. Uh, that's okay. You can always put it on a race. But what I like to do is just if you hit or hold down control or command on the Mac, it's going to change to the erase uh, little function there. So I'm going to hold control 
and I'm going to erase everything below the arm here. Like that. There we go. Uh, let's go to the back here. Erase all this. Okay. Not perfect, but I think it'll do. Um, okay, let's try that. So, as you'll notice, if we go back to our move tool, click this controller, move our arm, that's not gonna you know, be a problem anymore. Great. But if you click this uh, green triangle here, it's gonna move the entire body. There's a little problem there. That's not good. You might need to see a doctor about that. So, what we're gonna do to fix that, uh, or attempt to fix that, I'm going to see where the problem is. So it looks like in the back here. So, we're gonna click the weight tool again and then click the spine. I think to fix this, we need to add weight around here. Try that. Move it. Okay, I think that fixed it. Let's see. Yeah, that fixed it. Sweet. Okay, so now it looks great. Yeah, everything's good. Do that. You can move the arm. Now, obviously, the arm, uh, the right arm here, if you move that, it's gonna have that same problem as this one, but since I told you how to fix that, I'm gonna let you go ahead and do that because I uh, just for time's sake. Um, so now that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I, we have a fully rigged dude here now. It's awesome. Uh, you can you know you can move you know his whole body. You can crouch like that, uh, and you can uh, move click the blocks around the foot. And you can move his leg. Can, uh, click this little halo over his head and well you can't move it but what you can do is push the R key on the keyboard and you can rotate his head so you can like look this way look oh, okay that's probably pretty painful let's move that back here okay there you go all right so that's pretty much it that's that's just an easy way to to uh, rig a character it's really awesome. You can do a lot of things with it. Um, it's pretty basic. So there you go. Um, thanks, guys, for watching. I I'll try to get more tutorials out for you guys probably in the next week or so. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks.